Grier, a small village in the French wine-growing region of Alsace. A young clarinet player named Casper lived with his uncle Stavolo and his cousin Magridel, with whom he was madly in love. Un uncle Stavolo was known throughout the land as the strongest man around, despite his advancing age. Uncle Stavolo was hard at work preparing his vineyards for the upcoming harvest. Thank you. 
Casper played the clarinet very well and worked throughout the region playing with the town band for weddings and festivals. When Casper <coughs> came back to town from one of his short trips, he always brought gifts back for Magradel to show his love and devotion to her. morning of the Harvest Festival in nearby Kirksberg. Everyone in the town was going there to sell their wares and take part in the festivities. Unfortunately, Casper's family could not go because their cow was about to have a calf. Magradell and Casper watched from the windows as all of their friends went off to Kirksberg. to Magradel upon their return home. She said that she remembered Yeri Hans from the festival a few years before when he had danced with her. Casper felt some twinges of jealousy at this mention, but managed to put it aside. Uncle Stavolo, however, was unable to overcome his envy and spent the whole night musing on the town's admiration for Yeri Hans' strength. The next morning, Uncle Stavolo awakened Casper early so they could travel to the nearby town where Yeri Hans lived, ostensibly to purchase some pigs. to have a bite to eat before returning home to their village of Eckersbeer. 
Yuri Hans was there in the pub too. After some heated conversation between the two men, at Uncle Stavolo's demand, the tables were cleared aside for a wrestling match to determine who was the stronger man. At first, they seemed completely equally matched, but before long, Stavolo was thrown backwards across the room by Yeri Hans. Uncle Stavolo's leg was fractured, and he would have to stay in bed for at least six weeks, even though he was itching to attend to his vineyard. Uncle Stavolo was ashamed at his defeat at the hands of Yari Hans. And so he told everyone in the town that he had only been injured because he had stepped on a peach pit that had been on the floor. During his weeks of bed rest, his defeat continued to eat away at him. Finally, once he was allowed to walk again, Uncle decided to show the whole town that he was the stronger of the two. Another wrestling match would take place during the upcoming festival of Eckersbeer. This time, declared Uncle, in the town square, where an errant peach pit won't trip me. Stavolo invited Yeri Hans to dinner before the festival's dance. The wrestling match would take place partway through the dance. Soon the big day arrived. Waldhorn, the leader of the town band and Casper's best friend, came to the house so the two musicians could provide entertainment during Uncle, Uncle Stavolo's big dinner. to notice that Yeri Hans and Magridel couldn't keep their eyes off each other the whole dinner. She paid no attention at all to Casper. He tried not to let this bother him. Soon, Casper and Waldhorn had to leave the dinner to walk to the town square where that evening's dance would be held. Thank you. 
it was time for the wrestling match to begin. The dance floor was cleared in preparation. As Yuri Hans entered the square, all eyes were on him, but his eyes were only on Mademoiselle. Uncle Stavolo and Yuri Hans squared up and once again began to fight. Both men strained to gain the upper hand, but they seemed completely equally matched. Each landed a few blows, but neither man went down. Casper saw Yeri Hans wink at Magridel. At that instant, Stavolo suddenly gained the upper hand and threw Yeri Hans down. Uncle Stavolo was the winner. <laughs> festivities ended for the season. Preparations began for the marriage of Yeri Hans to Magridel. It was so busy in the house that Casper felt like a stranger in his own home. At last, on the fourth day of preparations, Casper could bear it no longer. He had to leave. He felt as though his heart would burst as he quietly slipped out of his house early in the morning.
and his friend Waldhorn decided to start traveling the countryside, picking up musical work as they could find it at weddings and town fairs. That winter was the saddest of Casper's life, but with the burgeoning spring, Casper's heart reawakened. Still, as the two musicians passed by Eckersbeer on their travels during the next year, Casper could not bear to return home. As they walked past the town, Waldhorn asked him, Casper, do you remember how we talked about your cousin Magradel at the Harvest Festival last year? I wanted to tell you, she and Yeri Hans had already been attached for many years. Casper replied, why didn't you tell me this before? What happens is meant to be, replied Waldhorn. If Magradel liked Yeri Hans better than you, this could not have happened any other way. If you had married her, you would only have been unhappy. Plus, if you had married her, I could never have found such a great clarinet player as you. So you see, everything happened for the best. As it is, we'll play together and travel the road side by side to the end of our days. 